Welcome! Imagine yourself deep in the forest, where temperatures are dropping fast, and winter is right around the corner. In today's video, we'll take you through every step of building a warm, resilient survival shelter, from the initial planning stages to the final cozy details. Stick around, and let's dive into the art of crafting a shelter that can truly stand the test of winter. Our journey begins with one of the most important steps, selecting the right location for the shelter. It's essential to find a spot that's not only safe, but also strategically positioned. This ensures that the shelter stays warm and is protected from potential environmental risks. Clearing away debris, fallen branches, and overgrown vegetation sets the stage providing a clean canvas for what will soon become a winter haven. Once the ground is cleared, it's time to mark the dimensions. Precision is everything here, and a clear layout helps ensure the shelter's strength and stability. With the measurement set, the excavation of the foundation begins in earnest. Every scoop of earth, Every shovel full of soil is carefully removed to create a level and solid base for the shelter. There's no rush, the focus is on accuracy and durability. This isn't just about digging, it's about laying down a stable foundation that will support the entire structure. Now that the ground is ready, it's time to bring in the logs. Each one is selected, cut, and stripped of branches, giving us a smooth, solid base for the shelter. Arranging these logs might look simple, but it's a process that demands both patience and skill. Every piece is positioned with intention, forming the groundwork for a resilient structure. These aren't just any logs, they're the literal building blocks of a shelter designed to endure harsh winter conditions. With the foundation in place, attention shifts to constructing the shelter's walls and roof framework. This step requires careful planning and precise placement. Each log is laid down thoughtfully to ensure maximum support, creating a framework that's both strong and weather-resistant. The logs are aligned perfectly, reinforcing one another for added stability. Piece by piece, the shelter's skeleton begins to take shape, standing as a testament to the power of meticulous craftsmanship. Once the basic structure is set, it's time to dig a space specifically for building a kill. The kill is crucial, it's what will keep the shelter warm. The earth and water are blended into a thick, cohesive mixture. This mixture is then layered with stones to create a solid chimney structure that will allow for efficient airflow providing warmth throughout the shelter. With each layer, the kill gains strength, becoming a reliable source of heat. Something you can count on during the coldest nights.
Moving up, we now shift to the roof construction. Carefully measured wooden pieces are cut and secured, each one forming a crucial part of the roof's framework. This isn't just about putting wood on top, it's about building a roof that's durable, able to withstand heavy snow, and capable of keeping the shelter insulated. Each nail is hammered in with precision, adding another layer of stability to the overall structure. Piece by piece, the roof begins to take shape. Once the framework is complete, halved logs are carefully placed onto the roof, forming a tight cover that adds both insulation and strength. These logs are securely fastened to the framework, creating a solid roof capable of withstanding the elements. The attention to detail here is astounding. Each half log is meticulously placed to ensure a smooth, aesthetically pleasing finish that's also functional. This isn't just about looks, it's about creating a shelter that's truly winter-ready. Next up, the walls start coming together. Small logs are attached to the wall framework, each one fitting snugly to create a sturdy barrier against the cold. Nail after nail is hammered in, ensuring that every log is firmly in place. The walls aren't just for privacy or aesthetics, they're the first line of defense against the freezing temperatures outside. As each log is added, the shelter becomes stronger, providing a safe and warm enclosure.
With the walls and roof structure set, a clear polyethylene film is applied over the roof. This layer acts as a protective shield against moisture, keeping the interior dry. Once secured, a layer of earth is spread evenly over the film, creating a natural insulation that blends seamlessly into the surroundings. This covering doesn't just add warmth, it's also an effective barrier against wind and precipitation, ensuring that the shelter remains comfortable throughout the winter. Now that the main structure is complete, it's time to dig out an entrance and install a sturdy door. The door itself is crafted from halved logs, giving it a rustic, natural look that complements the surrounding environment. Once attached, the door adds an extra layer of insulation and protection. The entrance is now complete, serving as both a welcoming point and a secure gateway into this cozy hideaway. With the structure nearly finished, it's time to focus on insulation. Soil is packed tightly into any remaining gaps between logs, creating a snug barrier that locks in warmth. This step is crucial for keeping the shelter comfortable, effectively blocking out drafts and maintaining a stable temperature inside. When winter winds howl outside, this layer of insulation will help keep the cold at bay. And finally, the finishing touches, no shelter is complete without a cozy, inviting interior. Wood is added to create a comfortable sitting area, topped with soft blankets for warmth. This isn't just about survival, it's about creating a space where one can truly relax, even in the heart of winter. The shelter is now complete, a true haven built from scratch that stands ready to provide warmth and safety in the forest. And that's it! From start to finish, you've seen the entire process of building a survival shelter that's more than just functional, it's a true winter sanctuary. Thanks for joining us on this journey, 